Good morning. I would like to introduce to you Paweł Ugazewski, one of the leading representatives of Polish sacred and choral music. He is regarded a successor of such composers as Henry Nikolai Goreshik, Krzysztof Penderecki and Arvo Paird, even John Taverner. So I, I wanted to welcome Paweł Ukaszewski from Poland, who is joining us today and will um, talk a little bit about his work as a choral composer and perhaps talk a little bit about Crucem Tuam and Ave Maria, the works that we will be performing soon. Hi, Paweł. Thank you. Hello. Thank nice you to for meet being you. Here. My pleasure. Thank you. So do you want to tell us a little bit about your current work as you're one of the leading choral composers? Tell me about your work. Maybe, maybe I'm <laughs> one of leading co choral composers. Um, <laughs> <Humble. laughs> but uh, Ave Maria is very popular. I know it. I compose. It was my, my first piece for the choir. Your very first really. piece? Uh, many, many years ago when I was student of composition at Frederick Chopin University in Warsaw, when I teach now composition. And were you uh, conducting a chorus then that, that sang this? Because it's, it's very, um, the sound is so captivating. Yes, I was member of the choir. It was a uh, choir of Academy of Catholic Theology in Warsaw a very famous um, university and I composed this piece for, for this choir uh, because we were many times in France and Germany, Spain, Italy with concerts and uh, this piece now is very popular and, and, and uh, I have a lot of recordings um, published in Germany, in United Kingdom and in Poland. I can see that. It's such a strong work. I um, When I started looking at this piece, of course, it strikes how you build the chords, how do you build the intensity in this prayer, how, how you keep calling. Do you want to talk about the chords you used? For me, it is typical normal harmony nothing interesting inside I think only uh, because it's piece for two choirs and uh, the first choir is high and second is, is low um, it's not typical set of two choirs right. um, and it was performed uh, in big churches with uh, distance between long distance between choirs so, of course, harmony is very important. It's, it's something like poly, or poly, maybe not polyphony, but poly, polystylistic or poly, polychoral, yes. And I compose a uh, few pieces more for two choirs, uh, because this piece is dedicated to Holy Virgin, if you know Bla Black Madonna. Um, I was born in Częstochowa, where is uh, uh, a very big monastery, um, Clara Montana, with a famous picture of uh, Black Madonna from Częstochowa. It is a famous place like Lourdes in France or Fatima in Portugal. Yeah, and next I compose uh, Salve Regina also and uh, one more, but I don't, I don't remember which one. But but about also dedicated to to Holy Virgin. Those are beautiful pieces. We are we are very lucky to perform them. Thank you so much. Um, and do you want to say a little bit about Crucem Tuam? Um, when we uh, started this work, I'm always fascinated when a composer writes a piece with a beat that is so below the heartbeat and you write a beat from 40 to 46 which is um, beats per minute 
and uh, that is of course a very slow beat and it's it's fascinating always to me how, how that cadence how you thought about this and the triplets and that music and do, do you yeah. want to say something about it yes triplets because uh, because rhythm of the text i think so so uh, always i use um, I, I like triplets but um, it, it's necessary in to, in the latin text um maybe it 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 comes from a gregorian chant because we have also two or three notes um but this piece um, it it is from set of two motets for lent uh, first is memento mei domine and second crucem tuam adoramus domine lenten text very short but very important um and also composed it was composed for this uh, this same choir from warsaw um dedicated to one one lady who uh, she she was vocal coach in this choir and we sang this piece uh, many many times but also i think 25 years ago and after um, the piece was recorded by Stephen Layton and Trinity College Choir, also Ave Maria, and published by Chester Music in London. Fantastic, yes. But it, it's sweet, I know. It's, it's probably for ladies, uh, this melody. Yes, it's a very lovely melody. And uh, also what is striking in the beginning is how you go with the voices in octaves the upper voices do the melody in an octave together that that is almost like yes. a color with the altos going along with it and harmony in in men's voices right yeah but also it it is student work popular but uh, i compose after probably 17 new pieces for for the choirs so what are you composing now? Um, I'm, I'm finished Vespers, dedicated to Holy Virgin. It is commissioned from, from Częstochowa, from this monastery um, in Jasna Góra, uh, for orchestra, for soloist, organ, a uh, long piece, uh, more than 50 minutes. Mm, yeah, because I compose not only small choral works, but also uh, bigger. Um, vocal instrumental symphonies, uh, the masses with orchestra, and chamber music, of course, concertos. Yes, and recently you were featured, um, uh, or you won an award. I, I seem to have seen something in the news with a bigger orchestral work. Is that? Can you? Tell yes, me? yes. Symphonies. Uh, last week uh, it was the uh, first performance of my eighth symphony uh, to the Greek text. Very difficult for me, composed oh, uh, choral symphony. Yes, I don't compose instrumental symphonies. Yeah, only with the choir. Um, but also also long piece, fifty five minutes. Um, we have in Poland very important festival, music festival, Bratislavia Kantans, um, and it was performed uh, in an old, fantastic, Gothic church um, with soloists and and big choir orchestra. Yes. Congratulations! That's very exciting. And uh, thank you. Do you have any thoughts? about um, young musicians and singers. Um, it, it's such a difficult time in terms of getting young, young people interested in choral singing and in classical music. And, uh, and your pieces seem to be so, I, I would say, almost in, in the best way, uh, um, emotional and ambience music and i think this is something that speaks to young people but maybe you want to say something yourself what you think about this how to very nice i think um we can say something about new music or e renew mu music 
um, because this uh, this word contemporary music it's wrong and if we think about contemporary it's something like avant-garde or Darmstadt school uh, Stockhausen and, and Ligeti and people doesn't like this style uh, but um, in the choral music in sacred music we can compose what we want and uh, the, the most important thing is to be free as uh, as performer but mostly as composer so i can say i I'm, i will to be free always and i compose sacred music for hearts for for people to be to be better human better human beings yeah well that that i think is that I think speaks to um, to uh, to use that idea. Yes, I I think all people need uh, um, need something in 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 his life. Not only money, not only houses and 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 gardens and so on, but but spirit is also important. Yes. And uh, and uh, time is very difficult now. We have war. I think always is difficult time. So we we need stay at home and listen uh, something which which give us imp more impression and um yes I, I I think it's it's important. Well that's a great message to our young young audiences we we need that and we need the depth and the it, it, when it, both of your pieces immediately you say they were student pieces but what strikes me immediately is like they're mystical they're they're um very deeply spiritual but they draw you in they're kind of Thank almost you. like they haunt you and i think that is something that young people need and i think also yearn for not to be just superficial but to be touched right away and this is what resonates i think also with us in the chorus uh, and i thank you i think it's it's a big tradition of polish sacred music uh, because you know probably uh, henrik mikołaj gurecki yes very big and popular composer uh, he composed Totus Tuus. Yes. Um, and when I was student, I sang first performance of this piece for Polish Pope. Exciting. <laughs> and it is this date um, with election of uh, John Paul II. Yes. It was 1978. It was really impulse for, for young composers to, to compose um, free after after this time of communism right what a gift right yes ne never take it for granted yeah i i grew up in in chile where we had a dictator as well for 17 years and so many things were restricted i remember coming to europe and feeling that same relief of wow the freedom yes I'm yes not a composer but as a Person. Chile, yes. I, I I was in Chile, you know. Some yes, I saw years that. ago, many years ago, uh, but twice in Valparaiso and Santiago, of course, the Chile. Santiago, and there's such a choral movement in Chile as well. That's anyway where I I got my first impressions as choral singer and student. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hope. I hope you come back to Chile. And I hope we would see you in the United States as well. Uh, do you have any plans? Maybe I was in, in New York uh, and New Haven because um, and Juilliard uh, they they um, they gave me commission for for one of oratories, and uh, I, I was in in uh, Yale University, um, also in Chicago and Los Angeles. And it, it was uh, USC, yeah. uh, this university. But now next next month I must fly to Japan. Japan. Yes, to Tokyo. Oh, fantastic! One of our performers in the program is Japanese as well. Okay. And uh, yeah, we're here about an hour from Yale University. Really? Yeah, hmm. north towards Massachusetts. 
at the border with New York State and Massachusetts. We are in the state of Connecticut. Okay, very nice. So, Powell, I always love um, presenting in a concert program contemporary music alongside with early music, which is my specialty. We do uh, uh, perform on period instruments. And a great part of the program is another great Polish composer that you must know. And I forgive me if I don't say his name right, um, Gregor Gervasi. Gorczycki, uh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, we will be Good. performing his Completorium, which is also... Uh, yes, with instruments. Yes, period mm -hmm. instruments. Great. Yes, yes. and countertenor soloist and... Um, yes. Gorczycki is, it was was great, but we have also uh, Bartłomiej Pękiel and um, Mikołaj Zielenski maybe as well. Yes. Yes. If you know this, it is by the Sixteen yes. from UK. Yes. Yes. They 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 have some recordings yeah. of Polish music. Yeah, with Crescendo, we did a, a full concert with uh, soprano soloist Julianne Baird, who is really famous, uh, early music soprano, some years ago, and we did big works. Penkiel, um, if I remember well, had this piece for three choruses, with the top chorus reaching the soprano, the high C. I remember that was a very interesting uh, performance. I'm trying to remember which of his works it was. Maybe, but I think it it can be Mikołaj Zielenski. It was Zielenski. Yes, 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 Magnificat, maybe. Magnificat, we performed mm -hmm. that. You're right, It's it's been a few years, and I remember... Um, Try, training the chorus, uh, the small group to sing very relaxed up there. and But anyway, yes. very festive work. Yes, yes, it's, it's very rich, very rich. Yes, yes. Uh, you, your country has very rich music and we hope to perform more of it. Um, Thank you. If you. If you like, I can send you some scores or recordings if you need something. Gladly, gladly. We'd be very honored. Well, thank you so much. I know you, you must be busy and uh, I don't want to... Normal life. <laughs> normal life, yes, yes, exactly. And I hope I hope that we will meet in person sometime and I get to hear more of your work. And Why not? Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And, and, and best, best greetings, best wishes to all members of your choir. Um, please, from me, from, from Poland. Thank you. They will be so excited. And uh, Powell, is it okay that we put this on uh, YouTube and share so people get excited about the concert? I'm not sure because my English is not very oh, fantastic. You know, <laughs> no, no, I must polish my English. Oh, you are perfect. I wish I spoke uh, uh, Polish at all. When I traveled I to Poland a few years ago. I was invited with a small delegation to visit your country um, of musicians and learn about Polish early music. And oh, nice. Yeah, from the Polish Cultural Institute. That was in 2011. Um, but anyway, I learned maybe two, two words of Polish and very badly. So your English is perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So see you soon, maybe in Poland. See, I, so. I, I hope to go there again. And um, if you uh, plan to travel, please let me know. We'd love to invite you to this area. It's so close to New York City and, as I say, also to Yale. We'd love to host you. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. Maybe in the future. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I would love to. I will. We need it. And good luck. I mean, you, you don't seem to need it, but yes, we all do um, uh, with composing and with with your career and everything it's i'm so excited about your career and your music so i i hope to hear your eighth symphony is there a recording out there not now but not but in, i think next year next yeah, year will be yeah, yeah i will hear it well thank you powell very, very thank you um, grateful for your time <laughs> thank you my pleasure all the we, best we will be in touch Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.